What's up, y'all? Rich Slayton here. It's been a while since we played Clash Royale together in the same room. We'll be doing that, of course, in Helsinki, Finland for Clash Royale League World Finals 2022, but we just saw an in-person event at DreamHack Valencia, and it came down to two of the all-time greats, a rematch of our CRL 2020 World Finals between Team Queso's Ruben and SK Gaming's Morton. That, of course, was a great World Finals, and they face each other live on stage here in this event. Gonna bring you that in just one moment. But first, before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, ring the bell, all that good stuff. And of course, use code RICH in the Supercell shop to support me. And if you don't support me, use someone's code. It's super easy and a great way to help out your favorite content creator. Enough of all of that. Let's jump right into it. The CRL 2020 World Finals rematch live from DreamHack Valencia, Ruben versus Morton. For 5,000 euros and of course that very pretty trophy. And of course, it's one of those things too, where you know, let's go take a look at the let's take a look at the bracket. Um, one of those big things is that you know you look at Morton's Morton's list of accomplishments, and there's not a lot of number ones on there. So this would be one of those ones where going into the remainder of the season and uh, that last Golden Ticket Royale Masters, and then of course going into the CRL Summer Series, a number one would be a, a a big thing for for Morton here. Ruben has plenty of them. You know, you look at at Ruben's history as a Clash Royale pro, uh, there's a, a lot of number ones for Ruben throughout his career. Uh, one second, folks. Um, and you can see Morton getting ready for this one. Uh, Ruben, you know, had uh, uh, got a top uh, number one finish in one of our CRL monthly qualifiers. Uh, of course, CRL world champion and CRL regional champion for Ruben uh, as part of Team Queso. Not to mention all the stuff he did with Team Queso. Winning the No Tilt League Special Edition. That was a big one for that squad. Uh, he won Super League of Orange for for Team Queso. Won the Royal Crown Cup with Arena Casido. So you talk about you know this, the, the number ones for Ruben. There's a whole lot of those. CRL Regional Champion, CRL World Champion, and of course, all the dominance that he had uh, in Spain before that. So... Ruben's got those number ones, and if that's if, uh, as you've said before, if there is one knock on Morton, it's that you see a lot of number twos on his uh, on his list. Ruben has number one on ladder. Morton has number two on ladder, right? He's probably Ru Morton's probably the best person to be. The, he's probably the, he's probably the official goat of runner-ups when it comes to Clash Royale, and it's still about some bet top five all time in my book. Whoa, eighty dollar eighty dollar super chat. From the tree line, 80 for 80. Sometimes the audio is weird. Sometimes he misses a big play, he may, and may he live forever. Well, you know what? For 80 dollars, I'll throw I'll throw that even with the the subtle shade. I saw it on twice there, even with the subtle shade. Let's go ahead and jump in to our championship matchup. Let's go. Morton versus Ruben for 5,000 euros, and of course. The championship and the trophy. So Morton may be playing the giant skeleton variation of Drill. Ruben looking like Hog. And I'm, I'm going to have to ask some of the pros about the drills behind Princess Tower. Because the goblin always spawns at the bottom of the drill, I always wonder about that. Because the goblin has to walk so far to get on tower. Whereas if you spawn to the front or to the side, the goblin has a much easier path. So that hog's going to get all the way in. He has NATO, and nice. Nicely played. Able to sneak it in behind the giant skeleton. That does always feel a little bit dicey, right? When you're trying to, you have all that clog there. And Ruben, a little bit of control. Beautiful micro has always been sort of the story of Ruben as a player, and Morton, it's always been 
phenomenal macro. Of course, both these guys are top tier in both those categories, but you know, when you really talk about what makes makes Ruben special, it's micro, and what makes Morton special, it's macro. Early in his career, Morton was known as for just coming back out of bad situations. And the problem has been being put in lots of bad situations. Nice Golden Knight dash here for Morton. That's a lot of damage on that right-hand tower. Going to be down near to, if not under, 1,000 HP. Yes, it is. 887, and just like that, Morton opens things up big time. Huge counter push, though. Giant Skeleton, Hog Rider, plus Archer Queen. NATO able to handle that easily. That King Tower, though, is getting a little bit low to keep NATO in Hogs the King Tower. And Morton goes all the way behind. And nice Tesla to stop the Golden Knight Dash. Does Magic Archer get value? No, it doesn't. Giant Skeleton sneaks up just a little bit too high. Magic Archer now protected by its own Giant Skeleton. And you're going to see no... You're not going to see any sort of NATO play for a lineup here out of Morton unless it's the kill shot, right? You don't want to be giving up your best tool and your only real tool against that Hog Rider. And notice that Morton e is here instead of NATOing. Maybe recognizing how low that King Tower is. Interesting NATO when you don't already have the Magic Archer line up there. And that's going to be a lot of damage and no Magic Archer value. Maybe a little bit out of sequence there for Morton. Ruben now back in this one. 659 to 1173 plus the King Tower even lower. And that Hog will get DPS down. That's good news for Ruben. I mean, good news for Morton. I mean, keeps the Drill and NATO in. How did that... Oh, the Magic Archer got pushed forward. Doesn't matter. Ruben taking the L here in game number one. Morton almost, it almost thought that that Magic Archer might get shredded as it got pushed ahead. Let's go ahead and turn our music back on here. Come on, music, turn back on. This music is, this music is being very finicky. Behave, music, behave. Well, let's go ahead and take a look as I queue things up at our replay from those final minutes. From those final moments here. So you see Hog trying to sneak on through. This time, though, Ewiz plus the body block. DPS is more than enough to stop the Hog Rider. And as this drill comes in, everything pushes the Magic Archer forward. The Magic Archer still keeps the lineup. Morton was trying to get that lineup a lot throughout the game and just couldn't quite make things line up the way he wanted. But here he goes. Um, Rostislav, Stan of St. Joban the Cowards, kind of a bait for cheap cards and defenses, and it's harder for buildings. Fair enough. Let me go ahead and replay that final few seconds here one more time. So you're going to see the, skeleton, the giant skeletons get into a fight here at the bridge. Hog cannot get past. It's totally stuffed. And now you're going to watch this as this magic archer is going to get just pushed forward as everything runs forward and takes a step into the pocket, gets on tower. GG, well played. And there you go, taking a look at part of what they're playing for here. The trophy plus, of course, Five thousand dollars to the winner, twenty or five thousand euros, twenty five hundred euros to our second place player. And someone asking me why you ignore my message of Asia not being included in most tournaments. Asia is included in plenty of tournaments, and Asia is included in a lot of the golden ticket stuff, and has a lot of tournaments there as well. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't. I don't do the tournaments, but I have now addressed your questions, so you can stop spamming it in chat. Um, let's see. Real MVP is Magic Archer, says you two. Yes, I agree. Um. Can you feel the tension in these games in the final seconds? Everyone feels how close they are, and it, anybody's game take with any mistake. Yeah. It, it, the, the, the craziness of those final moments is always so stressful. Here we go. Let's jump into game number two with the 
match point here for Morton, who's going to go maybe minor wall breakers here. RG for Ruben, and I saw someone in the chat say Ruben's going to play RG, and um, they were like, uh, yep, totally. Ruben is a little predictable when it comes to Royal Giant being... He's moved away from Balloon. Maybe it's partially because Balloon just isn't that strong in the game right now. Uh, a little water here, one second. But man, you better you you gotta be prepared for Ruben to play RG. Hardik Sharma play like said Ruben's gonna play RG or Lava. That's all he does. So here you go. A lot of people were calling for the RG from Ruben early. So Mortar Miner Skelly King for Morton. Mortar against RG is pretty nice, especially with a lot of DPS here as well. Morton trying to get some DPS here, but that's four elixir that's going to put you real low for this push. And you can see just complete shred job. And just like that, Ruben takes a huge advantage. It's the the fireball onto the... Did that fireball miss? Am I crazy or did that fireball miss? The fireball onto the almost dead tombstone plus tower seems like it was a lot. And now you see Morton's just in such a huge elixir hole. Still two behind, plus what's on the board. And nice job going right for the Hunter here for Morton. And that'll be a little bit extra damage. Just force out some more play. And just like that, now Morton has undone the Elixir Disadvantage. So nicely played there. Morton probably knew that was going to be almost no damage. But he knew that was a great way to force out responses and get himself back in the mix. So having to even up the Elixir situation. That's a nice Dark Goblin out of Morton. Barbarrel gets in the backfield, but Dark Goblin stays alive. Fireball going to go to these Zappies. Smart call here, and just like that, after being way down, Morton has gotten back in it. Trying to load up in front of the Skeleton King right now is Morton Ruben getting a nice stack here. And this time does not get caught again by the Dark Goblin. But still, Morton fireballs it off and Dark Goblin stays alive. Ruben with the lead, 903 to 1275. This Royal Giant's going to do nothing, though. But now Skarmy out of cycle to not help the Skeleton King charge up. Morton very low on Elixir again. We'll get the Fireball onto the Zappies. 1068 to 903. Does Mortar come in high? Yes, it does. And that's a smart play on the Fireball there for Ruben. Mortar does not go to Tower. Miner does, though. 903, and just like that, Morton now back in the lead. 32 seconds left. Morton's just trying to go pressure, pressure, pressure right now. Does get for Fireball value, and just like that... Morton going to go ahead and take this one. Minor to the back. G to the G. Well to the plate. Morton beats Ruben and gets that all-important number one. Well played, Morton. 5,000 euros. The championship here at DreamHack. And what a nice win.
Let me get that music back on. A little celebration sounds. Let me go ahead and cue up the, the replay of our final moments here for you. And here we go, taking a look at that replay. Oh, I guess we're going to, uh, before we go to that, let's go to an interview with Morton. One second. I guess I don't have sound yet. Um, let me go over there to the interview. I'll kill the music. So if someone can translate for us. Congrats, Morton. Thank you. You won 5,000 euros. Euros. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Euros. Euros. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about this, this victory? Um, I feel great for sure, like because Room is a really good player, so I'm really happy to get my revenge for Worlds. <laughs> okay, dice que está muy contento por la victoria y sobre todo por poder ganarle a Rubén, que es un gran jugador. Uh, how do you feel about the the back of the in-person tournaments? Um, I always like to play more on stage because I feel like it's way better with the crowd and so on. So I'm really happy that it's finally possible again. Okay, uh, repeat the last sentence. Um, that it's finally possible again to play on in person again. I'm really okay. Happy about that. Sí, básicamente dice que se siente muy bien jugando en vivo y que está contento de, de que hayan vuelto. Así que nada, Rebol, ¿qué, ¿qué hacemos? ¿Le damos el trofeo? ¿Cómo hacemos? Ah. All right, everybody. Yes, I know that it's sí. in English now. I thought that maybe it'd be Spanish to German and back. Maybe maybe German would maybe Morton would speak Spanish. I get it. Yes, I see all the translations. Ah, ok. Sí, sí, ok. There's uh, yelling questions at him. The chat on Twitch ask if you, how do you feel to see in person your friends uh, of Clash Royale? Uh, for sure, it's great to meet all of them. I mean, like Sergio and Pompeo already met, but like Lucas, I never have met him, so that's really, really great and I'm really happy to be here. Está, dice que está muy contento de, de poder volver a ver a los chicos, a Pompe, a Lucas, a... Oh, a yeah, someone's saying Morton looks like... Yeah, Morton is very tall. I think he's like de, de six acá. foot seven or something crazy like that. Congrats. And there you go. There's the halfway hug. Morton going to win 5,000 euros. My voice is tired. 5,000 euros for Morton, plus that big, cool trophy. What a day. And let's see if we can get the beauty shot of Morton lifting the trophy here. Oh, look at that. Congratulations, Morton. Un aplauso, un aplauso, vamos. I'm going to go ahead and clip that for three crowns, our bi-weekly Clash Royale eSports show. So I can throw that one in there. Now Morton saying everyone should subscribe to Rich Slayton. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at the replay there. That, now that we finally have the time for it. Here you go. Here's the, the replay there of the end. 903 to 894. And just the overwhelm here. Fireball comes in. And I'm trying to see is what got the big chunk of damage here. It's the, so the miner gets a couple. Is the cannon cart... Oh, the cannon cart escapes. That's what it is. The cannon cart escapes, gets on tower, and chunk, 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 chunk. GG. Well played. What a day, folks. What a day. What a day. And what fun it was to spend this day with you. This was a blast. All right, that's it for today's video, folks. Hope you really enjoyed it. A quick recap, a uh, chance for you to look at what happened between Ruben and Morton playing live on stage together. So much fun to see CR players looking each other right in the eye and going, I'm going to take you down. And we'll see more of that, of course, at World Finals. That's going to be September 23rd through 25th from Helsinki, Finland. And of course, you can get involved on in the action if you haven't yet. Go check out Inside the App. It's the 20 win challenge coming back. You can play live at CRL World Finals. You can go to esports.clashrow.com for more information. And maybe I'll see you there. Maybe I'll be commentating as you try to play for your piece of that million dollar prize pool. That's it, everyone. It's been a lot of fun. See you here next time. As always, be excellent to each other.